Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to hard carry on Sejuani jungle. Her and Amumu are actually pretty good right now here in preseason 11. You normally want to start with your E. Here I could have probably just done my Q though. Yeah, I would have been better off going Q. We might have picked up the kill. With that being said, uh, if you do start Q, it's gonna mess up your first camp, especially if you don't get a good leash. Plus, Ezreal still had his flash. He only ended up using his dash. It's being really buggy. I can't press enter. I don't, I don't know why that is. I'm actually having uh, some trouble with my settings. But yeah, anyway, Sejuani's actually really strong right now. Uh, her and Amumu both. Tank junglers have... Uh, they have some pretty good options right now with their Sunfire Aegis. With Sejuani, you're still going to lean heavy into Warmog second item, but... You're going to go for a Sunfire Aegis rush like every single time. Super, super strong. On Sejuani, if you want to fight on Scuttle, you just 5 camp clear. It looks like Mastery is going to start on red buff, so I think I can go to topside Scuttle here. So I'll just do 5 camp clear. Seraphine AFK. Chill, chill, chill. Alright, let's go straight into our Raptors. So Raps, you will take the most damage on out of any of your camps. But we'll be full HP by the end of our clear. Master, you got pretty low on HP there. And saw his HP. I'm going to pull this back after you land your full W on the camp and an E. I'm going to pull it back, take a little bit less damage. You don't want all the Raptors to be hitting you at once. The little Raptors chew into you super, super hard. We're going to go to our Wolves next. Mastery is going to path towards Bot Scuttle since he started topside. When you start camps, you normally auto attack in W. And then they'll start hitting you, which will chew off your passive. You want to E immediately once you're able to. Your W does apply uh, Your W does apply two stacks of your uh, frost, which is nice. Really helps you get up that stun. So Juwani is really bad at 1v1s, especially before she's level 3. You want to try to avoid those as much as possible. You're not going to be winning 1v1s level 2. And once you're level 3, you're going to lose against strong 1v1 junglers like Graves, Nidalee, Warwick, that type of stuff. You're just not going to have a chance. So I'm just... Avoid 1v1s in general until you're at least full jungle item, and even then, they're not typically ideal. I'm using my smite right when I had two charges. It was about the time I wanted to use it. And now we're full, nearly full HP, and we just activated a refill potion, and we're on Scuttle Crab before it spawns. I'm gonna head over mid and gank this. Scuttle Crab spawns in at 315. You can flash, and you can Q flash. Like I did there. Q flash into her. Got the kill. You want to max your W first, then Q. Pike's coming. I can't, couldn't quite pinch it. Master, you did flash. I'm going to head straight for Scuttle Crab, though. I'm going to ping out where Master, you probably is. You want to W the crab immediately to take off its shield. You don't have to do flashy mechanics like Q and then flash towards the end of it, anything like that. Remember, you can use any of your abilities while you are mid-dash on your Q, though. Any of your abilities will work. So whether you want to ult or... Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. As long as you can come up behind the enemies on a gank, your ganks are fantastic. And Camille never hit us, so we still have our passive on, which gives us a bunch of armor and magic resist, so the minions aren't... I, just, I took that cannon. That was a little dirty of me. You normally want to give those to your laners. I wasn't necessarily trying to take it. I'm just trying to help her shove the wave. So Camille's going to miss out on hopefully most of this gold next P. Uh, you don't really want to stay to help them take turret plates pre-5 minute top or mid. Top and mid turret pre-5 are hard to break. Your very first item you want to buy ideally Sunfire Aegis. Uh, Bomby Cinder is what I'm trying to say. On your first back. <laughs> on your first back ideally... You want to get Balmy Cinder, helps your clears and ganks 1v1s. If you can't afford it, just buy the Ruby Crystals. And if you can afford all that, then also try to get a Pink Ward to help, help out with your ganks. You want to try to have a Pink Ward on the map at all times after your first back if possible. The enemy bot lane shoved up quite a bit. We can run past our golems, never mind. Vayne's chasing them towards their turret. So that would have been a waste of time if we went over there. I'm glad we did. It actually panned out. A lot of times on your camps, you don't necessarily need to use your Q. It only speeds up the camp so much. Uh, especially once you have your Balmy Cinder. It only helps so much, and it's a relatively long cooldown, 20 seconds. So imagine you use a Q on your camp, Master Yi shows up, and you're in trouble. 
So at, at this point, you just walk up, hit it with the W. Or if you use your Q on your camp, then you want to go in for a gank, you're, you might have to wait up anywhere from three to 10 seconds, depending on how fast you're clearing it. You will be maxing your Q second though. I'll use my sweeper. I'm gonna Q into her auto attack W. Make sure you land both parts of your W. Stunner, and it's a lot of damage. Sejuani is actually a top 10 jungle champion right now. That's why I'm doing a video on her. A lot of you asked me to do videos on uh, many different champions. And normally I don't, because I don't think they're worth you guys knowing, or they're just completely off meta, not worth learning. I have my R, I'll smite a minion, trying to give a ribbon. Auto attack W. I want to wait to R until she's stunned. There we go. Since Camille can dodge my R with her R, her she jumps up in the air and isn't targetable for like a second and a half. If I were to just raw throw my R out, since it's a decently long startup animation, she could potentially dodge it. Plus, with the way your your frost works, if you R them first and then break it, you can't use your E on them for like five plus seconds. So. Ideally, you want to land your normal E stun on them and then R stun. Remember that E stun, then R stun, ideally. There's exceptions. There's exceptions to every rule, of course, but just like 9 out of 10 times E stun into R stun. So, Juani's biggest weakness is early game jungle champions. If they are willing to play in your jungle, it's really hard for you to get to uh, level 6. She's a huge level 6 power spiker. She's super good in ganks, but she's not, like we talked about, she's not so good at fighting people 1v1. I saw Yi in the area. Okay, he's over there. He Actually, oh, that son of a bitch. He took my red buff. I should have noticed. I should have clicked on him. You click on him, and it shows, like, upper left, like, how long the red buff has left. So I, I, I should have known there. Pike should have stayed mid. I could have ganked this. It's whatever. The second part of your W does more damage, and it's the, I'm pretty sure it's the slow as well. Yeah, the second, your second part of your W just triple the damage and it's the slow. It's really important that you land the second part. The first part doesn't matter too much. The most important thing about landing the first part is just getting the frost stack in general. All right, I'm gonna ping that Annie out. I'm gonna ping where she is and where she's going. So hopefully people react better if they understand. If you just ping on their heads, a lot of times they'll just mute you or ignore you. I'm gonna W, auto attack, smite it. I'm gonna E stun him. I don't have my R up. Luckily, Pike's here to help me. Even though my R was down, since Master Yi doesn't have a full item, I'm more fed than he is, I probably would have soloed him there because he's not level six yet. He's actually really far behind. I can tank first aggro. See how Camille just R'd? I have to R early here. I had to R early to try to save the Riven. It looks like she's gonna die anyways though. I can flash on this guy, I can Q flash. I don't think Pike's interested though. I can go for Annie. She's not full item yet. My passive's about to come back up. I'll have an extra 10 magic resist, pretty badass. Ooh, Seraphine. I can't do anything now. Well, the only way we were, I don't, since I don't have R, we were only gonna kill her if we work together. That way we had that extra damage, but <laughs> yeah, without my R, I, I, there's no way she's full HP. Seraphine didn't use a summoner spell or anything and for some reason Seraphine went ignite heal. That is very abnormal. I don't think I've seen that before I'm gonna ping out the brand ping out where he is and where he's going He may still be in this bush. I don't know. Yep. He actually was What a goose Land the Q auto attack hit the stun get the kill doesn't really matter if you get the kills or not on Sejuani as long as you don't blow your shutdown gold one of the biggest reasons why Sejuani's strong is she's so good at taking scuttles and she instantly rips off its shield with just the first part of her W, which is good since the first part doesn't... Like, the scuttle doesn't get to soak any damage for free against Sejuani since the first part doesn't do much damage anyways. I'm gonna max Q second. I'm gonna run, get, walk up to her, hit with Q, auto attack W. Nice, nice, nice. We're tempoing this game down. I don't need to stay for this. The more people who are near the turret when you're breaking plates, the turret gets more armor magic resist anyways. So it's not really going to go faster by me helping because I have such low on hit damage to turrets anyways. So instead, it's better for me to just go for Herald. With Herald, you only need one person anyways. Any champion in the game, when Herald spawns, can solo it. I've done it in training tool with zero items just, just for fun. 
You can do it on a champion with zero items at like level one. Soloing Herald is very easy. So don't, you, the only reason why you need a second person is if you're worried about getting collapsed on. So if you think they're gonna burglar you, then yeah, you want someone there to have your back. But in terms of just taking Herald, do tank champions, not even full item, can take it with full HP. It's pretty crazy. Our, our, ours is up so we can solo Annie, especially if she doesn't have full item yet. All right, we're just gonna res- Ooh. Ooh, okay, we got this, we got this. I got R. I can just QR him to get to him. I'll hold on to R since he hasn't queued yet. I'll R him now since he's getting away. Blue smite him, auto attack. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, depending on the situation, you're gonna need to R before you hit them with your normal E stun. Sometimes you don't have the luxury of beating up on them before they're getting away because they're moving faster than you or they have a big escape or something. All right, their team's... Ooh, okay. They have two AP champs, the Annie Bran. Uh, <laughs> so they have stuns. They have a lot of stuns. I'd actually rather go Merc Trez this game. And then we'll go straight into Warmogs. Warmogs is a really good item on Sejuani. They don't have any crit champs. Mastery and Ezreal, neither one are crits. So Randuin's isn't good here. But if they have one or more crit champs, Randuin's a decent second item. Abyssal Mask isn't bad here either. We could honestly just go Abyssal into Warmog. Because I don't think we could get the Warmog's passive with just these two items anyways. If, they're, if they don't have stuns... Like, if their main form of CC is slows, you can just go for for steel caps because Sejuani's passive makes her immune to slows while it's up. So, if you're just, like, walking around and Nasus tries to wither you, it won't work. Or if Bran has... It just, like, slows in general while you're passive. And even once they hit you, it takes a few seconds, for three seconds for your passive to fall off. So... I didn't do it for the Bran Rylai slow. I did it for the Annie stun, Bran stun, Camille stun. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered. I'm gonna key right into our auto attack W. Ooh, got her flash for free. We didn't have to burn anything of value. I don't know what she thinks she's doing. She can't solo me. I have Merc Treads. I have Blue Smite. It's, she's trying to burst me through my passive. My passive just barely f fell off after, so I was gonna solo her. You can't, when you're fighting a Sejuani, you don't want to throw all your damage at her at once instantly while her passive's up. So look look at me. So this is Sejuani no passive. This is Sejuani with passive. Like there's a visual difference. You see that shield above my head? If you do that, she'll so, you're basically, <laughs> it's almost like having yourself exhausted and then pressing all your abilities. You want to take her passive off. This is just like an auto attack or something and then drop a load on her head after the three seconds decays because it takes three seconds for it to fall off i'm gonna queue straight into him you can go over walls with your cues you can go through structures walls as long as it can reach over auto attack got my east done i could have art her there but i figured we didn't need it since pike had already dashed away auto attack w normally against camps like i said you want to auto then w since your w pushes them away it immediately cancels their auto attacks. So especially in the early game, auto attacking then W is really good with Sejuani. Her clears, like I said, her clears are so strong that for the most part, when you're clearing your camps, you don't need to use your Q because it's on such a long cooldown anyways. And it'll make it harder to gank or fight people if they come in your jungle. For clearing your camps, you really only need your W and your E. As long as you're going Sunfire, Aegis, you'll be fine. Oh, there's Annie. Auto attack W. Yeah, she's just zooming away. That speed up's tough. We could we couldn't kill her here. I have R. I have to lay the Herald too. I'm just gonna lay it, man. I don't want to die or forget to lay it. I wish, really wish Ribbon didn't back there. Auto attack. I missed my second part of my W, which sucks, but we're going to get turd at least. Don't know where Annie is. I think I can solo Camille. I just don't want to fight Annie and Camille at the same time. I'm going to pop a refill. We're going to go ahead and shove this in. I want to get one more Herald bash in, if possible. Come on, Herald, do your thing. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to pinch the Annie. Pretty sure this is warded. Hopefully she doesn't react very fast. Bran's gonna come over here, most likely. Bran was already in the area. I'm gonna hit her with a W. Got the slow. 
Since we had her surrounded, there's no reason to use R, but we can just hit her with W slow, damage and slow. Now, if she flashed, if she flashed my W, flashed away, then I would have smacked her with an R. If they're not already CC'd, you don't want to use your R because it's easy for them to flash, like flash out of it. Because it's such a, it's a relatively skinny skill shot. It's kind of like a Lux Q, but fatter. It's a Lux Q that you can see. Lux abilities for me, I, I just can't see Lux abilities. So I don't like that champ. Especially when she's using skins. I, I'm not exaggerating, I just can't see it. And that's it guys, if you enjoyed this Sejuani carry commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and if you haven't already, come check out the stream. My name is Kingsticks, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.